Hello everyone, welcome to another classic Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. I've got some products to talk about, so let's dive right in and start with this guy. This is the rotary switch breakout board. Uh, remember the rotary switch? You may or may not remember the switch. Um, it is a very simple 10 position rotary switch. We use this in the decade resistance box. We have um, all those rotary switches that switch all the resistor values so you can use that decade box to get any resistance value you want. And we have this little breakout board which kind of gives you some of that same functionality. Using um, these little pads over here on the side labeled 1 through 9, you can actually input your own resistors into the side. Simply attach the rotary switch like this. You know, like that. Attach it in like that. And then on the leads over here, you see you've got the three different leads. When you turn this knob, it will connect the various resistors, increasing or decreasing your resistance value of the whole system, creating a 10 position switch potentiometer. So go ahead and check out um, this little guy and be sure to buy the switch, which is sold separately. Next up, we've got a new revision of the Easy VR Shield. It is a simple little Arduino shield, has that, and then this is the Easy VR module. Comes with a little microphone and some headers to put it all together. What the Easy VR Shield is, is a voice recognition shield. That is what the VR stands for. It gives you a really easy way to add voice recognition to your next project. With just a few simple steps, you can plug this into an Arduino, do some basic commands, and then get the Arduino to actually do some things based on those commands. So let's see this in action. We've got Sar, who has a little demo for us. Here I have the Easy VR Shield 3.0. This is a voice recognition shield that works with Arduino so that you can easily integrate voice recognition into any of your projects. Along with the Arduino IDE, the Easy VR Shield comes with an Easy VR Commander, which has some pre-recorded voice recognition commands like forward, backward, up, down, left, right, go, stop, run, along with some numbers. These are easily recognizable to anybody's voice, but you can also record your own. But when you record your own, it's kind of more specific to your voice. Here I have hooked up the Easy VR Shield to a red board, a speaker, some lights, and a motor to kind of show you how this all works. First, the board listens for a trigger word, which I have set up to be robot. Now it's listening for any other command. When the green light is on, it's actually listening. And then when you say a command, that green light will turn off and I've set it up to beep a little bit so that you know that it's actually done what you wanted it to do. So without further ado, here is the voice recognition shield. Here's the Easy VR Shield microphone, and this will be what's listening for all the commands. So robot, turn on lights. Lights off. Run motor. Stop motor. There you have it. Lastly, we have a new multimeter. This is a deluxe version of the standard multimeter that we carry here on the site. Um, this is a fantastic entry-level multimeter. Don't get me wrong, it is a great meter for the price, but it is missing some of the features of its more expensive deluxe cousin. This is the Victor 70C. This is very similar to the meter that we had on the site eh, maybe about a year ago. Um, this is just kind of the updated version of it. The difference between these two meters is mainly the fact that this you have to set the range, whereas with this one it is auto ranging. So if you're measuring impedance or voltage or anything like that, you just put on the probes and it automatically ranges to you know whatever the range of the value is you're measuring. This meter features not only AC and DC voltage measuring, um, but you can also do, of course, um, resistance, you can do capacitance, you can do a diode test, and it also has a continuity tester. In addition to that, you also have current in both a milliamp and a amp range. The low end of the current is a, um, up to 600 milliamps for the first fuse, and then the other one is up to a 10 amp fused for measuring current. In addition to all that great stuff, it also has hertz, so you can measure the frequency coming out of an AC signal. And we've also got a temperature probe that comes with the unit that you plug in like that, and you can measure in both Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is pretty cool. And it also has a backlight. Let me show you what that looks like. So we just hold this button, 
has a nice backlight, which comes in really handy if you're using it in a sunny area or even a well-lit room like this. Um, you also have a min and a max. You can manually set the range, which is also pretty cool. And then here we have an RS-232 option because it has a USB jack on the back, so you can use the included software for connecting to your computer and doing some you know, kind of logging and whatnot. If that wasn't enough, it also has this nice kind of protective um, plastic boot which um, fits over the whole thing and you can just kind of slide it off for getting access into the fuses. But you know, it's this nice kind of rubbery boot which helps protect the unit. Um, so these are the two multimeters that we have on the site and the $15 unit is really great and the other unit is better for maybe more the advanced user. However, it's always good to have an extra backup one of these around. This concludes yet another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. We've got a couple cool things sitting here. We've got the breakout board for the rotary switch. We've got the new version of the Easy, Var Easy VR for easy voice recognition. And we have the new, more full-featured multimeter. Be sure to check out the demo for the Easy VR as well as the multimeter tutorial. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products. <laughs>